Okay, so here's just a small follow-up on it. It's kind of the way NURB surfaces work uh, with what I was talking about before with uh, trim curves. So say you have this surface here, um, and then you're going to trim it. And say we use this curve right here, and we're going to cut that. This could be, you know, right now it's just a surface, but this works with solids and everything also. So let's go ahead and trim that and then we're going to remove that top piece. Now, <clears throat> you know, the most people, you know, the the way NURBS work is that object actually still exists. It doesn't disappear. This right here is called, it was defined as that trim curve, and all it does is mark that other side as not visible. It doesn't go away. Uh, that's one of the reasons why Booleans and things like that work good in NURBS. So, basically if I show the control points of that surface you'll see that it actually still exists <coughs> see it's still there and so that's why uh, that's what the untrim command in Bobcat does is essentially uh, you can untrim that surface which in <coughs> in this program it's by selecting all the edges and delete and it comes back but uh, so it actually still exists even though it looks like it's just down here that new trim curve is just marked all this part here as uh, not visible in the display and then you can perform other operations on this like now I can extrude that out and it's you know what I mean it's still uh, it's just that little piece however that underlying uh, geometry the untrimmed surface still actually exists so if I export this um, in like IGIS, which is kind of like a general format, not necessarily the smartest solids. Like, you know, SolidWorks will have mechanisms for keeping that untrimmed surface around for a long time uh, and perform other operations in fillets. Uh, when you start getting into formats like IGIS and stuff, it starts dropping some of that off. Uh, so in this program, I can still untrim it to its full potential. However, if I... Uh, if I export this surface here in IGIS format, for instance, and then in Bobcad, if I go to untrim it, it only untrims, it only had kept around the uh, the data up to a certain point. So um, it actually untrims to uh, to something like just a straight thing still below Z. That one's a little tall still, but uh, I'm getting uh, getting to a point. So it'll untrim it just to a flat straight line up to about there. So it doesn't, it doesn't, that I just format and export didn't keep the entire thing. It just kept, it just squared off that boundary there as data that didn't need to get uh, pushed through. However, that data that it, that it, the export of this particular geometry libraries uh, I just export in this case it's integrity where I think it's the same one Bobcat uses um, you know it kept around just enough to untrim that to be like a, a squared off sheet which would then have bounds data be slightly above what you think is the top there but in this program you know if we were to do bounds data measurement then uh, then it would actually go all the way up to the top of what you see there, which is way up here. This is data that's kept, so the program has to know that that's there. Um, and then another thing I mentioned in my post, I talked about uh, the bounding box, which is what everybody's expecting to see in, uh, in the entity summary. And what that looks like is, uh, so we talked about, I, you know, I had a curve that was something like this. Uh, let's just say that that was it. Let's move it up just a little bit so that uh, right. now I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, here we go. Let's turn it so that you can see so that I can talk to you okay so there's that same kind of curve with that bounds data that's above zero and uh, Bobcat's entity summary is taking that all that data however there's other uh, uh, what they're looking for was what I mentioned was bounding box so here I'm doing a command in this program that gives me bounding box which is 
that's a different type of analysis on that curve. And so you see, it's basically just a, on a 2D geometry, it's just an X and Y bounds. So it just measures the extents of the X and Y here in the X um, from the very end to the very end. And then from here, from that very point to the highest point there. And this is the entity summary uh, that most people are looking for with that. Uh, same thing on a solid. If we run bounding box on a solid, it doesn't just do a square. It does a, a solid square to the bounding box of that object, not necessarily the bounds data. So here I've selected that solid, and I'm going to put bounding box on it. And you'll see it just made a square over here um, at the exact limits and extents of that surface that I had. It didn't take into account uh, the bounds data. So that's just a different command. Um, and maybe that's something Bobcad should look at, at adding because that's actually what people are looking for when they're entity summaring entities, not necessarily uh, the bounds data, which would be uh, all the way up to there. So anyway, I just wanted to add that in. That's just a little bit more uh, for those that were paying attention. Okay, talk later.